concave up, concave down, concave up, concave down. In this activity, you're going to be using the second derivative to try and predict what's known as the concave nature of a curve. So as you can see, this is a parabola, and it is concave up. So if you could imagine there's a little caveman in there, um, that's where he would live, because he wouldn't live out here. That would be on the outside of the concavity, and he would get cold. So that one's concave up. That one is concave down. Now, when you do your investigation, you probably should start with a nice second-degree function and take the derivative of that, and that will tell you uh, all about concavity, or you should be able to draw conclusions that way. Also, I want you to go to a third-degree function. Now, I'll upload a sketchpad that gives you kind of a helper features for creating a third-degree function. And you'll notice that this third-degree function also has two areas of concavity. It is concave down in this region, and it's concave up in this region. So there are two areas to examine in the third-degree function. And the last thing to look at is a point of inflection. And that is the place where the function changes from being concave down to being concave up. So when you look at the second derivative, how can you tell where a point of inflection is? Now, for those of you who haven't already used this feature, Sketchpad does have this feature that allows you to do a little bit of <clears throat> checking of your derivatives. And so you just uh, select the function, take the derivative. What a mess. And then you can also take the derivative again, and that's how you can get the second derivative. So there you go. There's the derivative. There's the second derivative. And then when you want to look at the characteristics of the second derivative, it's just a matter of pulling down the uh, menu and looking at that. Okay. Good luck with that.